Thank you for joining me. Today's video is called Burn as an Oven. We're going to look back at 2 Timothy chapter 3 to see how the last days will play out, to see how they're framed. 2 Timothy 3. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. That's verse 1. That tells us the times we are talking about. Perilous times shall come in the last days. The next verse goes on to describe how the people act. We're going to skip down to verse 8 where it starts to describe the pattern that they use to resist the truth. Now, as Jonathan Jambres withstood Moses, so do these, the men of the last days, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all, as theirs also was. So we see the pattern. The men of the last days shall resist the truth, as Jonathan Jambres withstood Moses. So we must look at that. Exodus the account uh, Exodus of Moses and Pharaoh. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. That is what they did. That's the pattern that we've spoken about over and over in these videos. The last days are upon us, and you can see, for they have set up their own vine. They have done in like manner with their enchantments. Their enchantments. So let's look at it. We're looking at their enchantments. The word translated enchantments is lahat. Lahat occurs two times. It is translated enchantments and flaming. It is translated flaming because the word means flame, a blaze. That is what the word lahat means. Flame, blaze. They did like in like manner. They did in like manner with their enchantments, their flame. And that is why when we look around, we see evidence of this. We see that the, the vine is named, all their, their, their treasure that they've heaped up is named as if it were fire. And we see in the wiring, the wiring is all called hot. The wires, the electricity, transfers down are named hot. They call them hot. They testify against themselves. Their treasure is called hot. They did like manner with their enchantments, their flame. And out of that, we get these hot wires. The vine of Sodom. It is their vine of Sodom in which they built for their vine of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes, grapes of gall, their clusters bitter. Their wine, the poison of dragons, and the cruel venom of asps. And this is the vine of Sodom, the electrical system all around us, the vine of Sodom, the, the wireless system all around us, the fields of Gomorrah, the fruit, all the devices, grapes, grapes of gall, clusters are bitter. The, this stuff gets processed, the processing, the images, the sounds, their wine. It is their wine. It is the result of processing of the fruit of the vine, their wine. It's the poison of dragons, the cruel venom of asps. Sodom means burning. Their vine, the vine of burning, the vine of Sodom, the vine of burning, all the wires are hot. They did in like manner with their enchantments, their flame. Now you see the pattern of the last days. Things are named, they're called as if they were fire. So we're gonna look at some examples of people set on fire, set on fire. It can't be literal fire, because they don't even know they're on fire. And yet the word is true. God's word is true. And it says clearly they are set on fire. Let's look at Psalms. My soul among lions, I lie them that are set on fire. The sons of men whose teeth, spears and arrows, their tongue, a sharp sword set on fire. It is possible to not even know that they are set on fire. Therefore, he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle and it has set him on fire round about, yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid not to heart. Set on fire round about. Look around at this day. Set on fire. The hot wires are all around us, completely consumed the population. Set on fire round about, yet they know not, and it burned them, yet they laid not to heart. Do not even consider it. Many of you know that there are gold and silver in electronics, gold and silver in the electronics. Some of the wiring, even the switches that turn things on and off have small amounts of silver and gold in them. In the electronics, televisions, 
phones, computers, all these devices have small amounts of gold and silver in the electronics. They are very good conductors and they are used for various reasons. Now look at that. Look at this next verse. In the context that all the stuff, the treasure we've heaped up together has gold and silver in it. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Look at this. It literally said, shall eat, shall swallow, consume your flesh as it were fire. And that's what we see. This stuff is named as if it were fire. Hot. The wires are hot. They are, we have swallowed up the population, consumed it as if it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. It's interesting to note that the word Sodom has something to do with fire. Sodom, burning. It shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Gomorrah. The, their vine is a two-part vine. It is of the vine of Sodom, burning of the fields of Gomorrah, submersion, submersion in heaps, submersion in ruined heaps. That's what Gomorrah means, submerged in ruinous heaps. And it says, it shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. The pattern still holds together. Your flesh will be swallowed up with fire and they have heaped treasure together for the last days. Look around, you can see the evidence that we are in the last days. It said, the people of the last days would do in like manner with their enchantments, their flame, and they have done it. They have produced the vine of Sodom, the vine of burning, and the fields of Gomorrah, fields of submersion, fields of submersion in heaps. They have built it. The vine of Sodom is here. We are in the last days. You can see it. It is called hot. This day burns as an oven, as the Bible said it would burn as an oven for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yet yeah, all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall and ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I do, saith the Lord of hosts. So this, this day burns as an oven. Vine all around us, the vine of Sodom, labeled hot, completely has consumed the population. And look at what it says. It says, they shall be left, the people shall be left with neither root nor branch. Their vine, the vine that they are the branches in, their vine. It shall be no more, as we have seen from other verses. The Lord shall look and see that their power is gone. Their vine shall be no more. They shall have neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, the name of the living God, the name of the living King, Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. So we can see the day around us burns as an oven. It is time to fear the name of Jesus Christ, the name of the Lord because the days are short and what comes upon us makes haste what comes upon them i should say those who abide in the vine of sodom but those who abide in the vine of christ he shall be a fortress a strong tower in the day of trouble and we can see through all the stuff around us that the vine has come up the vine of sodom is around us the day burns as an oven